Kick panda. No. More like cock shit panda. Oh my god. This movie sucks. This movie is a ripoff to Kung Fu Panda. Which was way better than this. Let me give reasons why this movie sucks. The film is an obvious ripoff of Kung Fu Panda and as well as its sequel Kung Fu Panda 2. In addition, both movies were released the same year as Kung Fu Panda 2 was released. The main character, Lu is very annoying and an incompetent protagonist, and he sometimes is stupid for his actions. Like other Guyam America's films, the main villains of this film are all set in place on a throne. False advertising, for two reasons, the poster shows the graphics in CGI, but the graphics is hand-drawn in the movie. It, along with one of the other posters, shows Zebo and Grandmaster Han outside, but they always remain inside the dojo in the movie. There are tons of plot holes in fillers. The fillers make up most of the movie. There is a lot of cringeworthy and rancid dialogue. Slate is a very bland and one-dimensional villain. Name errors, Lou is called Zebo and Kudo goes by Slade and or Sherman. Koji doesn't like to talk somehow, and it isn't explained why. Apparently, the animators, creators, producers, distributors, and voice actors didn't have the budget to give him a voice actor and just left off without any explanation of why Koji doesn't like to talk. As mentioned in BQ number 1, while the movie still rip off the main movie Kung Fu Panda, but it also rips off other films and TV shows like Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, Disney, as well. For example, Lu slash Zebo rips off Po as well as Bear from Bear in the Big Blue House and or Yogi Bear because like Bear, he has a cub for a son and or sidekick, Lu slash Zebo's son Ming as well as his friend Shiva both rip off Boo Boo and Oho. Koji looks as if Mojo Jojo came from the 1998 to 2005 TV show The Powerpuff Girls and Abu from Disney's Aladdin were put in a blender. Bali looks way too similar to Bagheera from The Jungle Book. Grandmaster Han and his brother Kudo slash Slade slash Sherman are obvious ripoffs of Mufasa and Scar from The Lion King because they're both big cats two brothers, and one is good and the other is bad. In addition, Grandmaster Han looks like Tony the Tiger Reject, while Kudo is Sherry Khan. Pointless pop culture references to the characters from Star Wars and as well as the Phantom Menace, such as Don't Start With Yoda quotes, actually it was Obi-Wan, and the laughably infamous George R. Pickles slash Binks, line. Species warning, Shiva and Rex's designs, while cute is very confusing because it's hard to tell if Shiva is supposed to be a bear or a lion, or if Rex is a rat or a gerbil. The film is very short and boring, as it's only 45 minutes. Not to mention the ending is lame, and that's the reason, who hates it? Lance the Super Mario 64 fanatic 2007. So screw Chop Kick Panda, and screw Niloya. Kung Fu Panda is 46,775 times better than Chop Kick Panda. End of rant. Next rant, The Adventures of Panda Warrior.